Good afternoon on what is a bright, warm and breezy day. It is Thursday the 14th of July. I'm in the reading up with a nice hot cup of tea. And um, a parcel to unbox. So let's find out what's in here. And several things in here, and the first of which is this, which is the Earth Above, um, a module for Mothership, um, the uh, Fuse Mothership, the um, sci-fi horror role-playing game. Um, but, uh, it's a mini. It's basically it's from Feylight, not just been released. Uh, so it's a terrifying alien species. Like species known as the pest has invaded a remote mine facility taking the sector's only uh, ship fuel source offline. The androids charged with protecting the miners have ceased communication with their parent corporation. You're out of fuel and the only place to be find, to find it is, is deep within the mines, but that's where the pest is, or the pests are. So, um, so very quickly, no fuss, no, there's, there's no fuss, no muss, literally gets into it. So we have this module and you, uh, explains essentially, please skip anything you've read, it's your story, we'd love to hear from it, went, okay. Um, otherwise there's some pieces to snag, maps to steal, and some creatures to frighten your crew with. Um, and um, I've got an explanation of what's going on, why the player characters are there, uh, and, um, and then it says, what's going on here with spoilers ahead. Um, and explanation of you know the nature of the threat involved, the pestilence or the pest, uh, and um, and, um, and how that came to be. So, you have a full description here of what's going on, um, and then we have a an overview of um, the planet. Really, and quite basic, really quickly getting. I like the fact that it's, get, it's getting down to um, details fairly quickly. Doesn't waste a lot of time, um, and um, it, um, and also it takes. It's interesting here. Is essentially it's on a, um, a Kumar Nine is a strange planet with a short cycling time. Short rotation can be jarring to experience when a player character attempts to sleep on Core 9. They must make a fear save or be unable to rest due to the dramatic sh shift in circadian um, rhythms. It's a nice little touch. It just adds to the tension. Can't sleep. And it's, it's not, a t the tension is, is, they can't, the reason they can't sleep is not necessarily because there's monsters out there. There are, um, but because the planet itself is just physically alien, out of step with our natural sleep rhythms. Nice touch. Um, and then sort of like player characters are going to land at the camp inter in and interact with um, the um, androids there and try and find out what's going on um, at, uh, and explore it trying to get basically they can't get anything out of the androids at least and explore it further to find out further information before of course they've got to go into the mines um, and then we have um, Various different NPCs are going to encounter. These are nicely done. I like the, like the nice, nice little images of these as well. You get a nice feel and flavour from the sort of like the, 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 the their um, thumbnail portraits. Um, and here we have sort of like the um, essentially the the, the the location for the main action, which is in the mine itself. Uh, and they've done a really good job of illustrating this mine. Just looking, at it, just on the, on the first glance, sort of like you know. Bring together its sense of scale and how it works. It looks it works all together, um, you know, really quite simply. But it's all done in sort of like three dimensional, and it, you get a great feel of the layout for the mind just by looking. You know, no putting in different levels one on top of the other. Here you've got a full physical three D map. Nice touch. So let's have a closer look at that. Um, and then. At, uh, then we have the various um, NPCs and foes that they will face. So we have a camp boss, m uh, android, mercenaries, uh, lava creatures, um, forms, pupa and the nymph, all um, forms of the pestilence. Uh, and, the, and, at, um, and the ultimate form. Um, 
and then you've got various tables, things like, like I search the hab and then supplies or Merc loadouts and so on. Um, and you have advice for the warden here. So you've got advice that basically running a massively in incomprehensible alien um, and also tips the warden over here. Uh, but, um, and this essentially gets get you part of the app. Just, just a bit of, G, bit of advice for the warden, the, the game master. I think that's again, it's a, a, a pleasing addition in here. Uh, this uh, quite impressive little book, and it's really nicely put together. This is there's a pleasing solidity, even though it runs to just 16 pages. That's 16 pages long, and it, 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 but it feels good in the hand. Even, even's got a, a, a card cover, good paper stock. Um, and uh, what you have here in the lava, pupa, nip forms, etc. You know, you have vague analogues to the xenomorphs from Alien. But I mean, that's no bad thing. You really think when it comes to Mothership, Mothership the sci-fi horror role-playing game, is really drawn from that uh, blue-collar working, uh, um, working class science fiction horror um, that you see in Alien, and to an extent in Aliens. And then uh, the, the, the aesthetic is also seen in the earlier Outland. Um, so it's almost kind of what your players are expecting, but making it different with something like the R for the pupa and the uh, Imago uh, or Migo, um, you know, described here as a massive incomprehensible alien is a nice touch. And, you know, that, um, so something that you can easily uh, drop into your mothership um, sci-fi horror role-playing ga uh, game campaign, or you can run it as a one-shot, of course, or you can easily adapt it, adapt it to your campaign even if, if, if it's a science fiction one, even if it isn't actually Mothership, you know, it, it's all there, you've got all the details, um, and it would be relatively easy to, 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 to develop if you really had to. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this unboxing in the like. If you have, then please do click on the like button down below. And of course, if you want to be alerted to yet more unboxings in the nook, where you'll see me out here um, with a nice hot cup of tea. But, um, uh, and a book and um, a box and a book which I will unbox and chat about to the best extent of my knowledge. Then please do hit that subscribe button. Thanks again for watching, and we'll be back again soon with another unboxing. Bye for now.